Today we're cracking open a collector booster box of Lost Caverns of Ixalan, and as you might have noticed, we're on a brand new channel, so make sure to like and subscribe and click that bell icon if you like box openings, collection buys, and so forth. Anyway, well, let's jump into it. All right, let's crack this bad boy open and uh, see what we can find. Uh, as I mentioned before, brand new channel for openings, so uh, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure to uh, like and subscribe, click the notifications. So we have 12 packs. The big winners of this set are, ooh, we got a box topper. I think we save, I think we save the box topper for last, right? We got to save that for last. We'll see what, we we'll see what we get for the box topper at the end. So the, the big hits here are really the, the neon ink cards. They're very scarce, like serialized card scarce, but they are super, super high end. So let's, uh, ooh, all right, let's see what we can find. Get through bitter triumph is a good uncommon. What do you think of this style of uh, of <laughs> of basic? I kind of like it. Look at the dinosaur. It'd be perfect for a dinosaur deck, that's for sure. Like, so if you're playing some sort of dinosaur deck, it's pretty sweet. Uh, all right, what else do we get? Caprati Sunborn. Okay. Uh, Corpse of the Lost. Sure. This card is pretty sweet. And it's cool to see more skeleton support. What do we get here? Ever flowing well or rich satellite so this is uh the commander card one of the commander cards from uh from the set Hawatli. oh that looks really sweet look at that art that is some cool one thing i will say about lost caverns Ixalan is the art in this set is pretty spectacular deep fathom echo yeah all right so i mean that's a kind of the Hawatli is the big winner from that pack so what we really want is a uh, probably the mana crypt i think the ah the packs open better from the bottom, I found. Uh, all right, what do we get here? So get through the commons and uncommons. Also, the the Neon Ink Cavern of Souls is like super sweet. That's one of my one of my favorite cards from the set. How good do you think this will be? So one of the things we're missing in the set is a real explore payoff. Like last time we went to Ixalan, we had Wild Growth Walker, and it was such a sweet payoff. It let explore be an actual deck. This time around, this is the closest thing we got to a Wild Growth Walker, and I'm just not sure that it's that it's strong enough it is a cool design though all right what do we get here waterlog hulk swamp yeah that is a cool swamp scythe born raptor Ooh, roaming throne this is this is one of the biggest hits in the set this is one of my personal favorite cards in the set of course because it's a fan monogon but this is also one of the most valuable cards like you can put this in almost any commander deck and it's going to be good not the most chase version it's kind of weird today that normal foils are uh are considered like lower tier Ooh, so this is a card really expensive on magic online because it's actually seen some legacy play in mono red prison which is cool restless anchor mage maybe the best of the creature lands i would say Cresting Monsters or and ooh, sahili sahili sun brilliance it does look nice in foil you can see the the shimmering of Sahili. All right, what are we getting here? So so far, our best cards what? Wally still probably. Wait, okay. Bottom of the pack. Bottom of the pack's a secret. <laughs> bottom of the pack, and it opens way easier. That's not exactly true, is it? <laughs> my pack opening technique. Richard always yelling at me about my pack opening technique. Like, what, well, dude? How are you so bad at opening packs? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know you could be bad at opening packs. Good uncommon, not a value. Ooh, the best uncommon. Splunking is like, oh, such a sweet card. Splunking's so good. It's so good. Oh, that card's gonna make some, make some waves. Mountain. What do we get here? A Bart. I am not even gonna attempt to uh, pronounce that correctly. It does look nice in showcase foil though. Look at that, look at that showcase foil. Uh, Restless Vents, maybe the second best creature land from the set. Queen's Bay Paladin. I don't know if this card, how good do you think this is? I feel like Vampire Commander decks can play it. That might be about it. Order of the, wow, says Vampire.pack. Other vamps you have uh, control of Exalted. Flying, Lifelink, Exalted, Haste, Convoke. A lot of mana though, eight mana is a ton. Whoa! Oh, look at, that is like the most spectacular art. What more could you want? Look how good that looks. Look how, I mean, not only is it Quintorius, which is like one of the best cards from the set. It's already breaking Pioneer with the Discover mechanic, but look at like just the colors. Look how beautiful that is. That is such a, such a spectacular card. I will give Wizards a ton of credit. We complain about stuff, but their showcase... Wow, double Queen Bay Paladin, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but their showcase uh, styles have been super, super on point lately. Like, blown away at some of the showcase styles. Like, seriously. 
Why am I? <laughs> Richard's gonna watch this. Are you yelling at me? Uh, Richard's. I, I don't understand. Why? Why are these packs? See, like, I think it's gotta be from the bottom, right? It's gotta be from the bottom, and it opens better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why it's so difficult. Uh, what do we get here? Let's see. Uh, a bunch of random foil commons, uncommons. Nothing of note. Sorcerer Spyglass, first time down to uncommon, which is a, uh, which is nice. That's notable. That's the kind of card that should be uncommon. Let me know what tier rank would you give these lands, like uh, compared to other ones. All right, <laughs> look at that guy. <laughs> the Yoi. I am sure I'm mispronouncing. Ooh, Green God. So when they first spoiled the gods, the Green God. I wonder how the backside of these looks. Uh, the Green God was my pick for best god in the set. Oh, the backside looks pretty good <clears throat> in foil. I like it. Temple of Cultivation. That was my pick for best god in the set. So far, I have not seen it see play. It turns out green, still not good. Thousand Moon Smithy. I think this card should be busted. The Indomitable. The best coastal piracy, if you're, especially if you're playing pirates, but maybe in general. Amelia Bedelia. Combo piece for Pioneer. Ooh, Command Tower. Oh, I didn't know. This is Jurassic Park Command Tower? What do you think of the Jurassic Park crossover? We haven't had enough shirtless IRL actors in this pack. Restless Prairie. Uh, what do you think of having real people on magic cards? So let's see, bottom bottom of the pack, here we go. We're getting we're getting this figured out, right? Bottom of the pack, boom, got him. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of IRL actors being on packs of magic cards? That's something I I think I don't like it. My current feeling is I ooh. My current feeling is I don't like it, but maybe you could win me over. I'm coming around on these lands. When I first saw them, I was like, meh, but now I can ooh, or Shaker Dread Maw. <laughs> the best, the best Dread Maw of all time. It looks good in foil. Look at that mouth. <laughs> The best red ma. Get lost. This card's so much better than I thought. It turns out map tokens, not actually that much of a downside in most decks. Subterranean Schooner. Ah, this card is showing up way more than I expected. To me, it looks bad. Vehicles that are ground bound, I generally think of as bad, but this one's actually working. Commander card. Flash in some merfolk. Whale of the Forgotten. Ah, Descend 8 is such a such a big ask, especially for a sorcery. Like, how do you actually manage to get eight permanents in your graveyard while you're playing spells? What? Henry Wu Ingen Geneticist. So foil borderless, I guess, Jurassic Park card? That's kind of Oh! Oh, we did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, we actually did it! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that's a mana crypt! These are so hard to find. These are so hard. Oh, look at that card. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping we'd get a mana crypt, but I wasn't actually believing that we would get one because they're like so scarce. Oh, look how good that looks. Well, I think we have a winner. I think we actually finally have a winner. Like this mana crypt by itself makes it. A okay, that's, I mean, that's the hit. I wonder, I'm gonna have to look up the prices. There's like a few different versions. I don't know. I don't know where this where this falls in the hierarchy of mana crypts from the set, but uh, but yes, that is that is about the best hit we've seen. I think I finally figured out the pack thing. Upside down is the trick. Well, one mana crypt so far doesn't get much better than that. Like how do how do we top a mana crypt? How about two mana crypts? That would top a mana crypt. <laughs> oh, El Capitan. Oops. Three fold Thunder Hulk. Millennium Calendar. One of my personal favorites from the set. There was actually an against odds on the main channel where we did it. We actually had a thousand counters on it and killed people. Oh God. Uh, vampire commander card. Not going to try the name. I feel so. Ooh, get, oh, I thought that was a mana crypt at first. <laughs> it kind of has the same. It kind of has the same shape. So when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, is that a two packs in a row mana crypt? But no, just a, just a fancy get lost, which we will certainly accept. Island and foil extended subterranean schooner. Well, not a mana crypt, but I mean, we we can't complain. We could open literally blanks for the rest of this box. We could open literally blanks, and uh, and we couldn't complain about it because they're so <laughs> because we got the mana crypt, so nothing else really matters. Like we already are a winner. Uh, okay, get through the commons and uncommons. What do you think of the discover lands? How good are they? I mean, for commons they're good, but are they see play good? Another. We've got two of these. How do we keep opening Yoyas? 
Same slot too. Squirming Emergence. Some interesting reanimation. Terror Tide. Admiral Brass Unsinkable. I actually played this for a Commander Clash that's coming up, and it really impressed me. It's way better than old Admiral Brass. Ooh, to Shadow Spidebinder. Extended. Not foil, but this is another. This card's like shaking up modern. This is another really nice hit. This has been a good box so far. Dino DNA. I mean, I imagine this is valuable because I think you can only get them from collector boxes, but I actually don't know how valuable. And echoing deeps. I may have to just give this one to Richard. <laughs> Richard, he loves he loves his uh, land copying lands in Commander. That's like his favorite. <laughs> it's like his favorite thing. So maybe I just instead of instead of selling it, maybe I just ship it to uh, to Richard. I'm sure he would play it in like every deck. He's gonna need a pile of them. <laughs> All right, what do we what do we get here? Boom, 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 boom. Also boom, also boom. Schwamp. Uh, this is, oh, this is the, okay, showcase of the uncommon. This is one of the better uncommons from the set, Cosium Confluence. Uh, check out the budget magic with this card, because Gates, uh, not Gates, I always say Gates, because I play like Gates. Caves is actually a lot better than I thought. I think they can be a legit deck. Souls of the Lost. Promise of Eklazots. Ooh, Pliny Satcher. It's a good dino. Giving all your dinos haste is like very important, I think, to uh, to making dinos work. Throne of the Grim Captain. We gotta look at the back of this one. What does the Grim Captain look like? Showcase foil. It's a pretty scary looking, uh, pretty scary looking pirate. <laughs> uh, also against the odds of that one. We've actually, <laughs> for this set not being out very long, I'm surprised how many of these cards we've already played. I'm like against the odds, much of bruise. So definitely check out that on the main channel. And of course, as I said in the intro, if you like the opening, subscribe and turn on, turn on notifications to our, our new opening channel, which you're watching right now. So just click the buttons are right there. Uh, Rampaging Ceratops. Yeah, yeah, kind of a common. Sanguine Evangelist. I imagine this card can see play eventually. I think it's it's good enough. Warden of the Inner Sky. This one's already showing up in uh, Boros Convoke and Pioneer. Dawn Unders the Renegade. I don't know what this card is exactly. Oh, it's another one of the commander. We get so many commander precon cards, it's hard to keep up on. Showcase Kalon. Another mountain. Oh, I wonder, are these worth anything? The Jurassic Park mountains. Hit the Motherlode. <laughs> That card's super fun. I don't think it's super good, but it is super fun. What do we got? Three packs and a box topper left. All right. Can we top the mana crypt somehow? That would be, that would be miraculous. If we somehow get a better open than the mana crypt. Like I said though, like we can't, we can't complain. Oh boy. <laughs> Hi Richard. <laughs> Bart. <laughs> a little, a little fumble. Fumble right before the goal line. <laughs> Belligerent Yearling. We've got a lot of these random, uncommon, and common dinosaurs showcase. Ooh, he's Splendid Angel. This card was like 30 bucks. I think it's come down a lot because of the reprint, but it's he's playing Pioneer Angels, and it's like, just like the ultimate casual angel. Cares about life gain, makes more angels. Like, very, very, it's good and competitive and a casual favorite. Treasure Map. I do love me some Treasure Map. What is this? Bronze Fake Foragers. Okay, Dino Commander Precon card, and at Queen Deeps. This one's for this one's for you, Richard. Oh, uh, Ian Malcolm. See, these are the cards. Like, do we really? I know, I know. People love Jeff Goldblum. I learned that by tweeting something about shirtless Jeff Goldblum and not liking it. Apparently, people love Jeff Goldblum, but still, do we want real actors on our magic cards? Is this a thing we want? Do we really want that? I don't know. If it's your, if you love it, you love it. That's awesome. Abulio. I want to play a Panharmonicon. Abulio deck in standard. Haven't got to it yet, but it's on my to-do list. All right, two more, two more packs, two more packs. Can we top the Mana Crypt or at least get like another God or something? There's still, even if we can't top Mana Crypt, there's still some pretty good hits in this, uh, in this set. Glimpse the core, good common. Island. We've hit a lot of, maybe this is an uncommon slot. I was gonna say we hit a lot of uncommons in this slot, but maybe that is just an uncommon slot. They met a Galleon. Altasaur. Anum Packle. This card is way better than people think. This card is actually going to see standard play, and it might see play outside of standard. Like, it snowballs so hard. It's so good. Ooh, another Jurassic Park land. And, well, if we're going to hit a creature land in our last slot, Anchor Mage is a good one. Although, it's wild how cheap creature lands are now. I'm used to those being like cheese cards that are super expensive. It's kind of hilarious, though. They're like, they're not expensive. They're like almost free. 
Which, I mean, is good. That's good for players. Foil of Braid. Foil Discover Land. What do we get here? Okay, so last pack and then the box topper. All right. Uncommon Merfolk Explorer Thing. No, we've got a lot of schooners. I don't think they're worth anything, though. Another Cosium Confluence. Come on. One more big hit. One more big hit. Oh, this card, I think, is actually super expensive. The the Proliferate Plus Phase Out Your Stuff. Really good in plus one, plus one counter decks and commander. So I actually think this is like a $20 card or something. Like, it, for some reason, it's like oddly expensive. Way more than you'd think. Is it already... Wow, did that come out of the pack? Wow, look at that. That came out of the pack like heavily played. <laughs> That's actually kind of disappointing. Look how beat up that is. Ouch. Well, okay, maybe not a $20 card in that condition. Blood letter of Aklazots. Blackburn, Blackburn. <laughs> the payoff for the Blackburn deck. And welcome to da -da -da -da, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Uh, and all right, Mazzani. I mean, I think this is a good box. We, can we top it off with a good box topper? That would be, that would be the ultimate. Why are these so hard to open? I feel like I'm just beating the, <laughs> beating the crap out of the card in there. Boom, fingernail clippers. The time-tested technique. There we go. <laughs> Clip it, rip it. All right, last card. Our box topper. Is it face down? It is. All right, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? And it is a worn power stone. Well, we got a mana crypt. That's all that matters. We got a mana crypt. We got a mana crypt on our first box on the new channel. Yeah, make sure to subscribe, click the dingle dangle as Tomer would say. But we got one last thing to do before we're done today, which is send these cards off to Card Conduit. So if you ever want to sell your cards quick and easy, just head over to cardconduit.com and if you click shall have an order set up, you don't got to sort your cards or anything like that. Just drop them in a box, stick them in an envelope, slap a shipping label on it, drop it at the post office, and in about a week, you'll have a payment in your pay PayPal account. The fee for using Card Conduit is 10%, which for this box, since it was really good, is going to be like 40 bucks. But you can save 20% by heading over to cardconduit.com slash goldfish. And if you want a box or maybe some singles, you can snag them over at cardkingdom.com slash MTG Goldfish. And if you want even more magic, make sure to check out the last box opening video here where we crack some Lord of the Rings Holiday Edition, or maybe the video where I explain the MTG Iceberg.